Inexperienced Online Marketing Before I began internet marketing, I was curious about making money on the internet. I thought that it was going to be as simple as setting up a website, placing something on it for sale, and the money would start rolling in. Besides millions of people surf the internet, how could I not make any money? I didn't realize how wrong I was until I began setting up websites and got very few visitors. I was inexperienced. I did not understand that there was this very important thing called marketing that took a lot of skill to be able to be successful online. This is some basic information for those of you that are just getting started with trying to make money on the internet. There are four questions that has to be asked and answered in order for you to be on the path to a successful internet marketing career. Point 1. What product or service do you want to market? This is important for many different reasons. It should give you a general idea of what kind of sales you can realistically project. Is your product something that you have to educate people about before they buy? If so, then your sales for that particular product or service may be slower compared to selling products and services that consumers are more familiar with. Is it something that you use personally? It is generally easier for a person to sell something that they are passionate about or use themselves. As a result, a novice marketer should always put some thought into what they want to sell first. Never try to sell just for the money because it will be obvious to experienced buyers and you will lose sales and credibility point too. Who are you marketing to? In order for you to sell a product or service or program you have to know who would want to buy or pay special attention to what you have to offer. What is your niche? Never speculate that what you have is going to be of interest to everybody, even if your product is something that everybody uses like toilet paper. When you do your market research you may find that black women between the ages of 30 to 55 purchase more toilet paper online than anybody. It may sound absurd but statistics are crazy like that. So as a result of these stats, you know exactly who you should be marketing to the most, even though everyone uses toilet paper. This is a far out example, but my point is that you should always understand exactly who your target market is and what their likes and dislikes are. By the way, you can make a lot of money with a small niche. Point three. Why would they buy from you instead of someone else? Once you know what it is that you want to market, and who it is that you are going to market to, then you need to ask yourself why me? Your market is only going to buy from you if they feel as if they can trust you. You must make them feel comfortable. In essence, they are not buying from you, they are buying you. This is especially the case when it comes to online marketing. Most online marketers have a program that they are a part of that they are trying to get others to join. Never forget that most of the time prospects are not joining the program because they believe so much in the program. Oftentimes, they join the program because they believe so much in you and what you can help them to achieve. Even if you are an affiliate marketer, you get most of your money from those individuals that have visited your site several times before they finally click your affiliate to make a purchase. So be likable and brand yourself as an expert at what you do. I will show you how to apply these steps in other blogs. For right now, let's focus on the basics. Point 4. How are you going to reach them? The final question that you as a new online marketer should ask yourself is how are you going to drive traffic to your site? This is a question that some people get paid thousands of dollars to answer. Large companies even have millions of dollars carved into their budget just for this. With all of the millions of competitors out there it is important to set yourself apart from the rest by creating unique angles to the way that you brand yourself and your product. This will help to create a word-of-mouth buzz that is free marketing. Search engine optimization, SEO as it is known, is a vital part of getting yourself known on the web. There are several strategies that can accomplish this goal. Article marketing, blogging, press releases, and forum marketing are just some of the ways that you can optimize your site on the web. Social media, such as Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube are also a very powerful tools, if done correctly. There are also several offline strategies such as postcard marketing, sizzle card and drop card marketing that are very effective as well. There will be postings on my blog that explains these strategies for free, but for now, I'm just focusing on not overloading you as a beginner. 
It generally takes about three months to begin to see the results of all these strategies working in your favor. The sad part is that most people also give up in three months as well. So hang in there and be consistent day by day and week by week.